Uh, thanks for coming back to the channel. Uh, this is an update on the situation in the state of Virginia. The governor apparently is violating state law uh, by his, quote, temporary uh, state of emergency uh, as it relates to uh, uh, disarming, disarming people. Um, there is a chapter in state law, 44, Chapter 44, which is the Emergency uh, and Services uh, and Disaster Law, right? Uh, and it talks about, because a state of emergency is declared by the governor or the uh, a, a subset like a county or a city or whatever. But the law specifically says, and this is 44-146.15, uh, and this is in the, uh, the, the intent of the law. And again, this is talking about uh, the, the declaration of a state of emergency, whether federal or local. Uh, paragraph three of this chapter says, nothing in this chapter is to be construed to empower the governor, any political subdivision, or any other governmental authority to in any way limit or prohibit the rights of the people to keep and bear arms as guaranteed by Article 1, Section 13 of the Constitution of Virginia or the Second Amendment of the Constitution of the United States, including otherwise lawful possession, lawful meaning if, it's, if there is a law in Virginia that says you can carry, um, th then this a declaration of emergency cannot supersede that. So it says, including the otherwise lawful possession carrying transport, sale, or transfer, except to the extent necessary to ensure public safety in any place or facility that's to be used as a shelter. So unless you're going into a shelter during an emergency, uh, declaring a state of emergency, which is almost always temporary anyway, doesn't result in the banning, banning of your right to carry in Virginia uh, as long as you're carrying in compliance with law. Now, an executive order is not a law, right? It's a rule. So, as I understand this, uh, everybody that's going there should carry, uh, carry concealed, you know, or open carry a handgun. Don't do the long gun thing. Uh, and see how many lawsuits the state of Virginia can, can stand. Because I mean, you, now you're talking about civil disobedience. Uh, I'll, be, I'll be at armed civil disobedience, but you talk about civil disobedience uh, and let let the government, let the governor argue that it's lawful, even with the state of emergency, to disarm people. In other words, a state of emergency is not, according to Virginia law, uh, grounds for disarming citizens. Now, I'm not an attorney, but I'm looking at the law in Virginia, and I'm going to assume that uh, Governor Blackface did the same thing. Uh, however, I, I mean, if, if if I'm if I'm the NRA, if I'm any of the the uh, uh, gun organizations in the state of Virginia, they should know this too. Uh, and the question is, I mean, this this isn't about disarming about sticks and bats and stuff. It says specifically firearms, legally, legally owned and possessed firearms. So I, and in my view, I mean, if I was there, I'd, I'd carry, right? And I'd let, I'd, yes, I'd go to jail and then I would have my attorney uh, uh, argue this and it would probably get to the Supreme Court. So that's my thought. The governor is, is acting illegally, literally, 
against Virginia law, and no one has called him on that. Well, I'm calling him on that. So, just saying. Thanks for watching. Carry on.